Assalamu alaikum my dear students, how are you? I hope you are all well by the grace of Almighty. Welcome to NIEBS Home School. I am Ashish Bishash, an assistant teacher of mathematics in National Ideal English Version School, Bonding Ship. Today I am going to take a math class for the student of class 5. So my dear student, let us start our class. Today is our lecture number 9 of annual term. Of annual term. And today's uh, topic name is geometry. Today we shall solve CBQ number 1, 2 and 3 as your CW. And there is a good news for you, there is no SW today. But this class is very very important for your annual term. Okay. We have already learned such type of math in our half yearly exam. So, in this term we revise it again. Okay my dear student. So, at first we read question number 1. A side of a square is 5 centimeter. That means my dear student square. Square means we know that all sides are equal and all angles are right angle. Okay. A side of that square is 5 centimeter. That means this time uh, a side, length of the side is given. By using this 5 centimeter we need to find out uh, we need to draw the figure. So, a number question draw the figure. That means we need to draw the figure by using 5 centimeter as its side. That means length. Okay, B number, write down the characteristics of a square. We have already learned this in half year league exam. So, what, is, what are the characteristics? The characteristics all sides are equal, all angles are right angle and the wall diagonals are equal. Okay, two number question. A parallelogram whose one side is 5 centimeter and another side is 3 centimeter. My dear student, in half yearly exam, we have already learned what is the definition of parallelogram and what are the characteristics of parallelogram. But in this case, the length side is given. That means, it's uh, one side is 5 centimeter, another side is 3 centimeter. By using these two length, we uh, need to draw the figure. That means, A question is draw the parallelogram. B number question, just like the previous one, write, out the, uh, uh, write the characteristics of parallelogram. That means, we need to write the characteristics of parallelogram. What are they? Opposite sides are equal in uh, equal and parallel in length. No angles are right angles. The diagonal bisect is other. Okay. Three number. A piece of rectangular paper is seven centimeter long and five centimeter wide. That means, my dear student, uh, a rectangular piece of paper whose length is five, uh, seven centimeter and whose wide is five centimeter. By using this information, we need to draw. Uh, the figure that means we need to draw the rectangle okay b number write down the characteristics of the above figure that means uh, uh, the figure which is drawn in question number a we need to write the characteristics of that figure i hope you have understood question number one two and three how to uh, write this okay so please go to our lecture today a number question a side of a square is 5 centimeter. Draw the figure. So, please notice at first we draw uh, the square whose length is 5 centimeter. At first we draw a length is 5 centimeter. So, which is 1 to 5. I hope you have understood. This is 5 centimeter. Okay. Now, we take a line of 5 centimeter here as base and we know wall sides are equal. Okay. Now, in this case, we draw a right angle because we know that every angle of a square is right angle. Okay. This time we take 5 centimeter also. Okay. I hope you have understood. Now, in this case, we draw 5 centimeter again. Okay. 
now we add this on I hope you have understood ok my dear student uh, you use your small scale but here I use that centimeter for this reason the figure is a small but when you draw it in your exercise copy that it seems to be larger right ok so now we give the name A B C D and this is uh, 5 centimeter 5 centimeter 5 centimeter 5 centimeter 5 centimeter now here we write in the above figure figure a b c d is a square whose sides are 5 centimeter in length ok I hope you have understood in the above figure a b c d is a square whose sides are 5 centimeter in length I hope you have understood now uh, b number question is what are the characteristics of the square notice all sides of a square are equal here you notice this is 5 centimeter 5 centimeter 5 centimeter 5 centimeter that means all sides are equal all angles are right angle this is a right angle triangle this sorry this is a right angle right angle this is another right angle this is another right angle and this is another right angle that means all angles are right angles no need to show it in the figure of question number a just for your better understand of question number two i write here okay now three number question the two diagonals are equal in length my dear student what is diagonal the line joined to corner points and they called diagonal my dear student this diagonal and this diagonal both diagonals are equal no need to draw this in question number one for your better understand i draw here okay so my dear student wall sides of a square are equal wall angles are right angle and the two diagonals are equal in length i hope you have understood next question number two the question number two is parallelogram whose one side is five centimeter and another side is three centimeter a number draw the parallelogram b number write down the characteristics of parallelogram so first of all we draw we draw okay parallelogram so first we take a side whose length is five centimeter so two Okay, and another one whose length is 3 centimeter. Okay, this is 3 centimeter. I hope you have understood. Now, my dear student, we know from the definition that a quadrilateral whose opposite sides are parallel and equal. Okay, my dear student, I repeat, a quadrilateral whose opposite sides are parallel and equal, but no angles are right angle is called parallelogram. So here, no angle right angle. So uh, this is the base whose length is five centimeter, and now I draw a line who is. this is 3 centimeter 3 centimeter ok next one 
in this case we draw 5 centimeter again because opposite sides are equal and parallel okay now I draw this one and this one Five centimeter, five centimeter, and this is three centimeter. Now I give a name. This is A, B, C, D. Here I take centimeter as a unit. For this reason, the figure is a small. But when you draw this figure in your exercise copy, then it seems larger. Okay. So this is five centimeter, and this is. 3 centimeter. Now here we write in the above figure A B C D is a parallelogram whose length is 5 centimeter and weight is 3 centimeter. I hope you have understood. Now question number B, what are the characteristics of parallelogram? So number 1 is opposite sides of a parallelogram are parallel and equal. That means this one and this one are parallel and equal. On the other hand, this one and this one are parallel and equal to number the opposite angles are uh, of a parallelogram are equal that means notice b angle and d angle are equal that means if this angle is 70 degree then d angle must be 70 degree if this angle is 110 degree then that one is must be 110 degree so we say opposite angles of a parallelogram are equal okay i hope you have understood one and two number three number the diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other my dear student if you draw two diagonal notice this one is diagonal and this is another diagonal they bisect at a point i hope you have understood the diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other that means they bisect each other they divide each other equal segments okay no need to draw this in figure a for your better understand of question number 2, I draw this diagonal here. Okay, to number done, next question number 3. Here you notice a piece of rectangular paper is 7 centimeter long and 5 centimeter wide. So, first of all, we draw rectangle that means 7 centimeter long. Okay. And 5 centimeter weight. I hope you have understood. Now this time first of all we draw a line whose length is 7 centimeter. Okay. Then as the definition from the definition of rectangle we know each angle is a right angle. So, we draw a right angle here. Five centimeter. Okay. Here I draw 7 centimeter again. Now I add this one with this one and the length of this side is 5 centimeter. I hope you have understood. This is 7 centimeter, 7 centimeter. This is 5 centimeter, 5 centimeter. Okay. And this is A, B, C, D. Okay. So, 7 centimeter, 5 centimeter. Okay. 
so in the above figure in the above figure a b c d is a rectangular paper rectangular paper whose length is 7 cm and wide is 5 cm i hope you have understood and the characteristics of 3b is write down the three characteristics of the above figure the above figure is a rectangle for this reason so we write the characteristics of rectangle and that is sufficient for this question okay three b characteristics all angles of a rectangle are right angles okay because this angle this angle this angle and this angle all are right angle that means its measurement is 90 degree okay two number in a rectangle opposite sides are parallel and equal notice this bc and ad both sides are parallel and equal on the other hand ab side and cd side both sides are parallel and equal so in a rectangle opposite sides are parallel and equal and three number the diagonals are equal in length my dear student if we draw two diagonal that means bd and ac so then we take ac diagonal and bd diagonal and both diagonals are equal in length i hope you have understood okay my dear student this is our today's lecture you must memorize this and learn this very carefully because this is our previous lecture we have already learned this in our half yearly exam but in this case and it is so easy for you because you need to draw the figure only no need to write the definition so you must draw the uh, draw the figure how to draw this in your exercise copy and practice more and more at home okay you must uh, learn how to write down the characteristics of this figure figure okay my dear student this is today's cw and today we shall today we have already learned cbq number one two and three and in our next class we shall solve uh, cbq number four five and six based on uh, circle okay I hope you have understood my today's lecture. Keep practicing at home. Abide by your parents. See you soon. Till then.